Bruce Lee and Stipe Miocic. have continued to pile up for one of the best heavyweights in the world, Stipe Miocic, and rightfully so. Of course, who can forget when he wrested the belt away from Fabricio Verdun in Brazil at UFC 198? And then what he did after the fact against Alistair Overeem and Junior Dos Santos put him on a pedestal as truly one of the best heavyweights of all time. And it should, because when you have those types of names on your resume, you will be considered one of the greatest fighters the division has ever seen. Stipe has the ability to win fights in a number of ways. Unbelievable boxer, has great footwork, but also was a Division I level wrestler right. at Cleveland State University. Fights fires pretty well, too. He's really good at that. Yes, I went to the firehouse, and it's intense as it comes. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Mia Chich is six years his senior. He weighed in at 240 pounds. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introduce your first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Independence, Ohio, presenting the challenger, Deepa Miocci. And now introducing the champion. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. So here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the T-Mobile Arena. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that inaugural night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon from one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva, but the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight. You get to make your mark on this great arena. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Lands a big right hand early. Oh, straight right. Oh, you saw us referencing the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage. 
advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Big call for Punch Land. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed. That body's done, man. Body's done. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice job by Miocic on the feet, making some adjustments, and man, that jab looks clean to I mean, that jab looks clean, but you gotta be very careful not to get hit with a Steve Baby Ocean right hand. It's powerful, it's straight, and it can be very damaging. Good jab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Nicely done by the opponent. from here. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. And really starting to make these shots count. Side control now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Good, solid strike on the ground. Probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Ready. All right, round two. Sneaky head kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, that's a nice strike. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. That strike blocked by Miacic. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Punch coming, it's blocked. And they separate. Takedown defense holds up. Landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Look at him working. Oh. Back to the feet. 
Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Started. Oh! Seconds now to go around. All right, side control now. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Miacic. Split the guard beautifully there. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem with the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and combinations. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 42 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Stephen Miocic.